This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham and this is a first on FYI, I gotta say. <laughs> this is Liz Wheeler and we've got Ellie. I've never had a rooster on FYI before. <laughs> Yeah, Ellie, I think he's quite excited. He loves being cuddled on the couch, so he's he's so happy to be here. Oh, well, I just thought he liked being on camera. This is <laughs> now, Liz. You are with Secondhand Stories. Can you talk about that? What did what did that is? Yeah, so we are new to the area. We just moved last July, so baby, baby sanctuary. Uh, we're a micro sanctuary, which just means that we're a smaller version of a regular sanctuary. Uh, we take in. We take in farm animals, but right now we just have chickens. We have 10 rescued chickens. Uh, so we take in animals that are abused, neglected, or surrendered. So people's circumstances change all the time. As we know, housing is getting more expensive, and so people have to move often, and they can't always take their beloved chickens with them. And so we offer a safe refuge for animals to live out the rest of their natural lives, um, where they'll be loved and cared for. And then to help sustain our operations as a nonprofit micro sanctuary, uh, we sell books. So our name is Secondhand Stories because we have secondhand books and uh, secondhand animals, I guess, yeah. is kind of the <laughs> behind it. Um, but it's nice to create a new story for them. Okay, now a little bit about Ellie too. I believe she he is visually impaired, is he? Yeah, so Ellie was surrendered to us uh, because he is blind. Uh, so the other chickens that he was with were picking on him. Um, when he was surrendered, he was just three months old. And so um, the owners thought he was a female, which is why his name is Ellie. Um, but it just suited him so well because he has such a gentle personality, as you can see. Um, a lot of people think that roosters are big, mean, scary birds, but they're actually very, very loving if you handle them a lot. And Ellie, because he's blind, he loves to be handled. He loves to have nice, secure feeling of where he is. Um, so we're often on the deck together, just having a little cuddle. <laughs> oh, okay, and I can, I think, is it Henry I'm hearing in the background? <laughs> yes, yeah, that would be Henry. Henry's our new addition. So he is in the back isolation coop and he is screaming because he also wants camera time. <laughs> <laughs> next time, he can be on next time. Now, yeah. you, you have books, you've got books for sale. But, but you're, you're, you have to raise some money. You have to raise some funds because, I mean, these animals need vet care. Mm -hmm. That sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. are just vet some of the and food. Very, very expensive. I mean, as most people who have cat dogs know, the, the price of everything is climbing, cost of living and whatnot. Um, and with chickens, it's no different. Um, and they do need vet care. I mean, they get sick just like our companion animals do. Um, luckily, this little one. Ellie has been really, really great, has had a perfect bill of health. Um, but with some of the other chickens that we get because they are surrendered and they have unknown um, histories. Oh, you can get a little cuddle. Uh, <laughs> he might actually fall asleep in my arms. He likes to do that. Uh, you scratch underneath. Yeah, so the laying hens, I mean, they get a lot of reproductive issues. So we always want to take them to the vet to make sure that they're getting the best possible care and they're staying healthy. Um, with Henry, who you can hear in the background, he was, uh, he came from Big Sky Ranch and sadly came with a little bit of mites. So we had to have a vet check in, got him sprayed, and now he is all nice and getting healthy. So we're excited. We're going to introduce him to Ellie here and hopefully they'll strike up a bromance. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good friendship for sure. For sure. Now you're located local to Lombardy area. Yeah, yeah, we just moved last July into Lombardy and we absolutely love it. Rideau Lake, Smith Falls, Perth, the area is so beautiful and everybody's been so welcoming. We just absolutely love it here. Okay, now are you looking for donations of books, that sort of thing? Yes, absolutely. So we accept cash donations that helps fund our work as a micro sanctuary with stuff like healthcare, bedding, food. Um, we're also expanding. So Ellie's going to get a brand new coop that is accessible for him because he's blind. He doesn't like to go down ramps and things like that. So we're building him a very special coop where he'll have ground level access and we're calling it the Coopabana because it's like a summer <laughs> house. <laughs> um, but yeah, we also accept book donations because that's primarily how we fund our work is we accept book donations from community members and then we sell them on our website for $5 each. And after we sell quite a few books, it helps add up and then uh, buys all the luxury chicken food, Excellent. which is just special food for them so they can continue to grow nice and healthy and for for a long time to come I'm hoping perfect how old would Ellie be 
So Ellie is only about one year old. Oh. Um, he like chickens can actually. I've seen people's chickens live up to twenty years old. So yes. if they get really good vet care and they're cared well for, they can actually survive quite a long time. It varies on the breed of chicken, um, but Ellie has been in remarkable health. Other than his blindness, and I mean, it only really affects him in small ways of how he can get around. Uh, his health is tip top. Excellent, excellent. Now, where do you need the donations of books to be dropped off at, or that sort of thing? Where would you like them? Happy to pick them up as well. We always love to pick them up, but um, anybody who book, donates books is welcome to come meet the animals, have a private tour. Uh, we offer private tours to limit the stress for the chickens, but yeah, anytime somebody wants to donate books, we're happy to introduce them to Ellie and the crew. Excellent. How do people get a hold of you then? Uh, they can just contact us on our website. So it's uh, secondhandstories.ca. Uh, or they can just email me directly at liz at secondhandstories.ca. I got to tell you, I'm amazed at how friendly this, this little guy is. He absolutely is the most friendly rooster, most friendly chicken I've ever met. And uh, every every day we learn something new about him. Just last week, we discovered that he really likes uh, Taylor Swift classical piano covers. <laughs> so he uh, was just listening to that before. So I think he's kind of getting into nap mode where he likes to crawl up on my chest and fall asleep. Oh, I thought when you said Taylor Swift, I thought we were going to get a dance there. Just... <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, see, he's readjusting. Oh, is that? Well, and he, he loves to be referred to, so he knows where he is. Well, he certainly looks very uh, secure. He knows he's in safe hands right now, for sure, for sure. <laughs> wow. Well, we'll have to have you come back, and uh, we'll talk more about, and maybe we'll have Henry on the next time. But don't tell, don't tell Ellie. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. For more information, again, once once again, how do people get a hold of you, Liz? Uh, they can contact me on the website, secondhandstories.ca, or by email, liz at secondhandstories.ca. And all the books you have for sale are on there as well. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a first here on FYI. <laughs> liz Wheeler from Secondhand Stories and Ellie, thanks for joining us.